Good evening, MIT at Vaughn families. This is Ms. Contreras, and we welcome you to our eighth grade MIT culmination ceremony for the 2020 academic school year. Congratulations, Jaguars, you did it. We miss you all, and we want to go ahead and acknowledge all of your hard work. We know that these were tough times, yet we are here today celebrating all of your hard work. We want to encourage you to take a moment and thank your support team for their love and inspiration got you through it. MIT is definitely proud and we know that we prepared you for high school. We also want to remind you to cherish your middle school memories for they are paving the way to who you will become. We congratulate you. You did an amazing job. We wish you a great summer, and don't forget to continue practicing social distancing. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de culminación del año 2020 de MIT at Vaughn. Familias, les damos un arduoso aplauso y queremos reconocer el trabajo de todos nuestros alumnos. Pero trabajamos en equipo y sin su apoyo esto no hubiera podido ser posible. Nuestros alumnos exitosamente celebran el día de hoy gracias al trabajo de que han hecho todos uh, para mejor prepararlos para un paso más cerca al colegio. Felicidades a todos. Hello, MIT scholars. This is Ms. Valadez congratulating you on this special day. I'm so proud of all the academic successes you've accomplished despite being around so much change. I'm a little sad that I won't be able to congratulate you in person, but I wish you much success. You've accomplished so much. I'm so proud of you. I know you will do great things in high school and beyond. I miss you. Take care. Congratulations. Greetings to our Vaughn parents, our amazing MIT students, friends, and wonderful teachers and school leaders. I know that the last few months have been overwhelming for us all and have forced us to make dramatic adjustments to our lives. Thank you for helping support our students. I am proud of you, class of 2020. Even though our school has been closed for some time, this does not mean that you have been disconnected to our school or your teachers. I know that we were not able to finish the year the way we were hoping, celebrating with friends and teachers and the eighth grade activities, as well as culminating on stage as it is tradition for MIT. What I do know is that you're making history now. You are going to be able to share your experiences with your loved ones and your kids in the future. Your kids will marvel on how you and your family were able to overcome such devastating global occurrences together. Be proud that you have been able to continue to grow via social distancing that your wonderful teachers implemented. With that question, we must also give thanks to those who serve as teachers at home, your parents, your sisters, your brothers, your tias, your grandparents, thank you. Class of 2020, you will soon begin a new chapter in your lives enrolling in high school, and many of you at Visa. Know that our school will continue to do all it can to support you and your family. I am sure that with the support of your loved ones, you will continue to grow and make us all proud. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Saludos a nuestros padres de familia, a nuestros increíbles estudiantes de MIT, a nuestros maestros, a nuestros líderes escolares y a nuestros amigos. Sé que la clase de 2020 pronto comenzará un nuevo capítulo en su vida, inscribiéndose en la preparatoria, muchos de ellos inscribiéndose en visa. Sepan que nuestra escuela continuará haciendo todo lo posible para apoyarles a ustedes y a su familia en el futuro. Estoy seguro de que con el apoyo de sus seres queridos tendrán gran éxito. Gracias a los maestros y a los padres por su apoyo. Felicitaciones clase de 2020.
admissions class of 2020. Greetings and welcome Principal Ms. Contreras, staff, parents, and graduating class of 2020. I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to do this except to be open and share my thoughts and experiences I had throughout middle school. I am honored to be allowed to speak today on this special day. Looking back on my first day of middle school, I remember feeling very anxious. I walked through the gates, hands were sweaty, and my heart raced. I remember going straight to the bathroom to call my friend to see if she had arrived. She had, and she met me at the place that would become my new comfort zone. When my day began with advisory, Mr. Dalton was kind and welcoming. I remember feeling reassured and at ease. I am thankful that at the end of the first day of school, the reassurance of my teachers had me feeling that my years in middle school were going to be great. Over the years, I learned to take a liking to photography so much that I took a second year of photography. To my surprise, I also discovered I liked science, which inspired me to become a marine biologist and hopefully cont continue on that path. Middle school was transforming for me, and as a result, I have developed in areas such as my scholastic reading level and maintained above water with math. When I started middle school, my SRC level was at basic and presently I am at advanced level. Math was another challenge for me. I increased my knowledge and currently have an A, which is a great job for my secret grade that I will not reveal during the speech. I would like to say thank you to Ms. Contreras and the teachers for working around the clock to prepare the lesson plans for us, checking grades and making sure that we get our education, as well as creating memorable moments with fun activities I would like to say thank you to Ms. Rodriguez, Ms. Gonzalez, and Ms. Suaven for supporting growth and development in my reading. Thank you to the entire staff, yard moms, janitors, securities, and tutors for being our friends and helping keep the school clean and safer for us. You all went above and beyond with making MIT our second home and for caring and looking out for our overall best. To the class of 2020, I would like to give you my best wishes and my success for you all. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Alvarez and I would like to start off by saying thank you to the teachers and staff to help me succeed. This year would have been my favorite year in middle school if we didn't have to be quarantined. Online classes are much harder than actually being in class because of all the distractions and interruptions. Sometimes my birds would start randomly singing as loud as they can while I would try watching a video or my dog would start begging for attention during the Zoom class. But the hardest thing of all was not being able to see my friends or teachers. My teachers have been really supportive of me throughout the years, like Mr. DeSimone, who still had faith in me even though I talked a lot in his class and never paid attention. He helped me realize I, was, I had the potential to be a straight A student and because of that, I now have perfect grades. Ms. Plocky's class also really helped me. I have been in her class since the beginning of middle school and I found out that I love learning music and love learning different, how to play different instruments. But it wasn't just the teachers that helped me. Our school, our school counselor, Ms. Velasquez, helped, taught me how to be a good friend, and because of her, I now have best friends that I love very much. I am truly thankful to all my teachers, and if I could write about all the teachers that helped me become a better person, 
than I would, but I don't want to make this long and boring. So once again, thank you to the school staff for having the patience and dedication to make us better students. And to all my friends, I hope to see you next year. Bye. Hello class 524 parents and teachers. My name is Melith Hernandez and I am currently in grade eight. I want to thank my parents and teachers for helping me through every step of the way and thank you to my friends as well. Without any of them, I would not have been where I am today. We have been going to school for 10 years, a whole decade. Let me start by saying this journey is like a puzzle. This puzzle begins the second you enter preschool. You're new to the school, you don't know anybody. You're only learning how to write your name. There are a lot of pieces to put together, but you are lost. You don't know where each one goes. Then you begin kindergarten. You have a few friends. So many pieces, puzzle pieces all came together. By the time you join second grade, you're moving at a much faster speed. Now you're learning division and multiplication. This is a change, but we adapt. Every year, you're in a new grade level, and things get more difficult, but we didn't give up. You eventually learn the system of elementary school. Your, your elementary puzzle is not complete. You're so proud of yourself. One day, you decide to move very carefully. You're afraid because you don't know where it's going to be in this new location, how things are going to be. But you want to try something new. While you're moving it, the puzzle falls apart, causing the pieces to go everywhere. You now have to redo the puzzle, but it's even harder to do so because some of the pieces have changed. It's like middle school. Here, it's a lot of more responsibilities. Friends come and go. We need better ones, and they support you no matter what. The puzzle is slowly coming together. Fast forward to not being in grade six. There are times when you don't know what to do and you're so lost. You're stressed because a great cutout is reaching the deadline and you're not satisfied with your grades yet. Great cutout comes around and you did all you could. The teacher hands you your grades and you're right away proud that you didn't give up. Your grades are everything you want them to be. Another piece fixing the puzzle. As you go through middle school, make memories. Some are good and some are bad. You make your own responsibilities and you become more responsible. Teachers are becoming harder where the goal is to get you ready for high school. When you enter eighth grade, the expectations are much higher. You should be thinking what you want to do in your future. I personally think middle school was an obstacle. I think this because, for example, you could be doing great in one class, then all of a sudden your grade drops because you forgot to turn in an assignment. There are many ups and downs during middle school. You make new friends, but middle school is how I grew as a student. The way I grew as a student is by making mistakes by accepting them, understanding and growing from them. I knew I wouldn't make the same error again because I truly understood it and corrected it. I grew comfortable asking questions without hesitation. I've also grown as a person because I'm more responsible. My middle school experience was truly the best. Whenever I look back at the work I did in the past years, I see I've changed, and that's a good thing. My academic writing has proved by a lot. I, I've also improved in a lot of subjects, like history. Throughout my middle school experience, I have made many new friends and emerged a responsible student with ambitions to tackle the obstacles coming my way. I have not completed my eighth grade year. I am now going to high school, and with all the help of my family, friends, and teachers, I now know I want to major in computer science. I couldn't be where I am today without my family, friends, and teachers, so thank you. Lastly, I want to applaud and express gratitude to all teachers and staff members at Vaughn for continuing to teach the students from home and ensuring 
that every student had the abilities and, and opportunities to continue education during this pandemic COVID-19. So thank you. Congratulations, Jaguars. You made it. You're part of the first graduating class of students in history to finish your middle school career through virtual learning while on quarantine. You have had to adjust to so much in these past four months, and you have the next chapter of your life coming up in starting high school. As you continue your life journey and your education, remember that you are resilient, that you will be okay no matter what the future holds. It has truly been a privilege and a blessing to be your counselor. I will miss each and every one of you, and I'm looking forward to hearing about your successes in high school. Hey, class of 2020, Mrs. Mercani here. Congratulations, you did it. This was a very hard year for you all with the challenge of distance learning and doing everything from home, but you persevered and now you have memories to take with you. Congratulations again, you're on your way to high school. And I have one piece of advice for you all. Remember that smart people don't have all the answers, but they know where to find them. I'm gonna miss you and I wish you the best in high school and beyond. Come back and visit. Hey there, class of 2020. It's Miss Shepley coming at you from my couch. So I just want to first off say I am so proud of all of you. You have overcome overwhelming obstacles this year. Uh, I remember meeting a lot of you during ESY when you were little sixth graders and I attempted to teach you math. I hope you learned something. Um, and then of course when I had a lot of you for seventh grade history and then I got to watch you grow this year especially those of you who have been in the gate program since I took it over um when I think of your guys's group with your the class of 2020 I think about your collective outspokenness your ferocity your organizational skills especially when you have a common goal and your great sense of humor. While I ended up being frustrated many times last year, I also ended up laughing a lot. Uh, so 
I know this year has been challenging, so I'm just going to leave you with one piece of advice that could be used in any circumstance in your life. The great philosopher Socrates said, an unexamined life is not worth living. Now you're probably like, okay, Miss Shepley, what does that mean? It means reflect, learn, grow, be the best person you can be. Be the best version of yourself. Learn about who you are and how you can be better. Not comparing yourself to others because comparison is the thief of joy. But comparing yourself to yourself and always striving to be the best version of yourself that you can be. I love you all so much. You're all my little bubbies, every single one of you. And I hope that I see you next year over at Visa. Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so bummed that we were not able to celebrate your culminating year the way you all deserve. Um, but I am very proud of each and every one of you and all of all that you were able to accomplish despite the craziness that was happening in the world. I think despite everything, I have no doubts that you will never forget about your eighth grade year. As many of you might remember, you were my first class as an official teacher. Um, so I'm never gonna forget the class of 2020. Each and every one of you holds a very special place in my heart. Um, thank you to those that throughout the years continue to come visit, bring breakfast, help around the classroom, or just spend the mornings with me. Um, you all made my days at MIT, or have made my days at MIT very special. Um, I can't wait to see all of the great things you're all going to accomplish in high school. And those of you that are going to Visa, I hope you continue to visit your MIT teachers um, and tell us everything that's going on in your life. Uh, congratulations, sending you all virtual hugs. If you're watching this, this means you survived COVID-19 and the three years at MIT. I don't know which one's the hardest, but you survived. Um, this is just Mr. Alvarez wishing you, the class of 2020, the best of luck at Viso or any other high school you choose to go. Uh, just remember, doors are always open at MIT and my future room, uh, room 113, for anything that you guys need. Enjoy your summer. We'll see you in the future. Hey, eighth graders, this is Mr. Johnson. Just wanted to wish you all congratulations. You did it. Proud of you all. Best of luck as you move forward with whatever you do. Hola, estudiantes. Habla la señora Durán. Les estoy deseando muchas felicidades en su graduación. Hicieron un trabajo fenomenal a pesar de todas las circunstancias, de los desafíos que vino con el uh, covid a 19 y sin embargo se mantuvieron ustedes firmes trabajando haciendo sus trabajos de la escuela y estoy muy orgullosa de ustedes les vamos a extrañar muchísimo a uh, les deseo lo mejor en el año que viene a uh, y continúen sus estudios, sus esfuerzos. Cada uno de ustedes puede. Ustedes tienen el potencial y son grandes, grandes muchachos estudiantes que tienen un gran porvenir. Continúen adelante. Uh, les voy a extrañar mucho, mucho cariño. La señora Dora. Congratulations, class of 2020. I knew you could do it. 
I wish you the best for high school. Don't forget to come back to visit. I will miss you all. Hey, what's up class of 2020? Uh, this is kind of a weird farewell, but it's been kind of a weird year, but I know this is gonna make you guys stronger, and I know each and every one of you are gonna hit it out of the park in the future.